Hey, hey, you guys. So today I wanted to go over a different way in order to broadcast on Facebook Live. So the most popular way is obviously to use your cell phone. And if you haven't noticed, if you use the front facing camera like you normally would, everything is backwards. So I was trying to come up with another solution. So the first thing I tried is to actually use the rear facing camera. And unfortunately, using the rear facing camera, you can't see the comments. So you need to use another device. Well, I do have another iPad, but my iPad is outdated. And of course, running a Lula Row business, I want to save as much money as possible. Um, so I was trying to avoid that cost. But what I did have was a laptop. So I found that I've used the laptop while using the rear facing camera on my device. It was hard for me because I had my phone on a tripod and I put my laptop on a table and I was constantly looking from directly into the camera and over to my laptop. And I didn't like the look of me constantly moving my head to see the comments. I rather look at the camera so it felt like I'm interacting with my audience. audience sorry. So what I also noticed is that when I expanded the window, I was no longer able to see the comments. I could only see the video itself. So that didn't work. So I kept trying to research some solutions and I was so excited to find this one and it actually works. So here we go and I'll show you what I did. So the first thing that you're going to do is download the software. The software is OBS Studio and I'll put a link to it below in the comments. Um, it's available for Windows, Apple, and Linux. I have a MacBook, so I'm going to show you what it looks like on my MacBook. Just follow the normal installation instructions and um, have get that installed on your computer. So let me show you what happens next. All right, now you see my screen. When you open up the software, this is what the platform will look like. Um, down here, I have different scenes. Here, I have different sources. You can see your audio, and you see two different screens. The first screen that I have here is basically my standby screen, and the screen on the right is what's live. Here is a transition, so I can transition from one side to the other. So it's pretty neat. All right, the next thing I have here is a start streaming button, a stop recording, studio mode, settings, and exit. Okay, so start streaming is something that you're gonna click when you're ready to start streaming live. Stop recording, I'm, that's what I'm currently doing right now and recording this tutorial video. Studio mode, is will only show one window and it will actually show the window here on the right hand side so let's click on it and then so you can see and I click on it here now I see the both windows so I'm gonna queue up the screen so you can see me <laughs> and the other thing here is settings so settings is where you can set things up. There you go. So here we go. The most important thing that you're going to want is the stream. So if you're streaming for Facebook, you'll see the stream type. I would click streaming services. I left it a default. Your service, I did have to go and change it. You see what you have available. In this case, we're going to use Facebook Live. And then you have the stream key. So the stream key is something that you're going to actually have to find on your Facebook. Um, if you are streaming on your Facebook page, it's going to be in your publishing tools. But with me, I stream within my Facebook group, so I'll show you how to um, find that stream key. So it's really simple. Let me go switch my sources. I'm going to choose here my desktop screen and I'm going to transition you. All right, so here I will show you, actually, I'm going to transition you again so you can see my desktop. Oops, sorry, here we go. So let me go back here. <laughs> I'm 
All right, let me go back here and I will actually put the link to this other site here. Um, and what you're going to do is at the very top, you'll see this, how to broadcast from your computer on Facebook Live. Scroll down just a little bit and you'll see this Facebook Live button. So click on the broadcast on Facebook Live and it will actually open up another window. Let me transition because it's weird and I can't show you the pop-up. But here we go. So you have a few different options. Share on your own timeline. Share on friends timeline, share in a group, share on a page you manage. I'm going to say share in a group. Once I do that, I'm going to search for a group. My group name is Leo LaRoe Pearl Barrientos VIP. And then you're going to click on next. Once you do that, it's really neat because it brings up this window where you can put in your description. So I'm going to say Cassie sale because that's the sale I'm going to do tomorrow. $35, comment sold, to claim, and the number. I'm going to go ahead and add a video title, Cassie Sale 011217, and then video tags. You want to tag it so it's easy for people to find if they're searching for um, things to buy. I will put shopping and fashion, shopping, LuLaRoe, so keywords, um, keywords that describe actually what you're broadcasting. So whatever ha the words happen to be. All right, so we'll just go ahead and do that. And you'll see here you have this stream key. So go ahead and copy that stream key and we'll go back into OBS. So all I'm going to do is go to settings, click on stream, and here stream key, I'm going to copy and paste it. If you want to show it, you can, I just hide it, and then I click OK. So every time you are going to broadcast, you'll need to find the stream key and enter it in. So once you do that, all you need to do is click start streaming. Once you click start streaming, it's going to interact with the Facebook window here and this go live button will activate and then you can click go live and you'll be live in your group. So let me switch over. So it's important to note, because I noticed that today while I was using it, that there is a huge delay. So after I clicked the go live, I didn't realize I was actually live in the group already. So it was staring at the camera. So just be aware of that, that you always look like somebody could be watching you, <laughs> especially as soon as you click that go live button. But I did want to show you some other neat tricks um, that I was able to find out like using adding my logo here and I did add something else that was neat let me show you let me cue it up da, 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 da. I was able to add this text on the bottom here um, so I'll show you those little tricks so it made my broadcast a lot better um, it, it was cleaner. Um, I was able to add some things and I'm excited to try this tomorrow, but I wanted to show you something else. Let me see if I can get it. Transition. This is so neat. Um, and I'm actually going to use this tomorrow. Um, and it is, it should change in a minute. Um, what I was able to do is also, enter in, oh, I only have one graphic in here, um, pictures, full screen pictures that will actually run through. So let me show you that real quick and what I did. Transition this. All right. So here we have a scenes. When you first um, download the program, you will, will not have any scenes at all here. It will just be a default scene one. Um, and these are just different views, as you can see here for what you want to show. So 
I have a webcam view. So it's just plain. Um, so I would add a scene and add my sources. So you can see here, I did a webcam view and I just added a video capture device, which was my webcam for my laptop. I have a desktop screen and literally I just told it that I wanted to show my Google Chrome window. I have my LuLaRoe live sale. So the way I wanted to show it was my logo at the top and then a brief description of what I was selling so that you know what happens when you're doing a live sale and people are always asking what are you on right now or how much or how do I purchase well now it's on the screen and they don't have to they don't have to ask it's right there in their face so that's why I like that and you can see here I was able to add different features my logo white my sale text, a video capture, and my logo. So there's a few different items and I'll show you that. Um, here's a graphic for size charts that I just put in here. I will be adding more in here and this is kind of what I'm gonna test out and see if I can open up the broadcast with this and then go to my video once I'm ready so I'm not unprepared again. Um, I did a different look with the colored logo um, and just the video. And then you'll see here, I just did the white with the video and then my laptop look, as you can see here. So how do you add a scene? It's really simple. Um, you just click the plus sign and you enter your scene name. I'm just gonna leave the default scene one. You can always change the name, um, right click it, um, rename, remove, delete. You can also delete with the delete button. So that's up to you. And then here, you can see it's blank because I need to add a source. So I highlight the scene and I click the plus sign to add the source. And then so you have different options here, audio input capture, audio output, browser source, display capture, so on and so forth. So you can go ahead and play with these. Let me show you this image slideshow because I think it's just so cool. So I'm gonna add this image slideshow. I can name it however I want. I'm just gonna leave it default and click okay. So then it's going to open up another window and I can set up a transition fade, the time between, and then now I can add my image files. So let me go to the plus sign and let me add some files. So let me pick some pictures. I just picked two pictures. And now let me hit OK. So what you'll notice, it will default and show up in a certain size. And see, it just transitioned. So what you can do is make it as big as you want by just pulling the right handle make it as small as you want I was debating whether or not maybe I'll put it in the corner but then I thought maybe it might be hard to see so I'm gonna play around with it and see what works but there you go it's neat little themes and the same thing you can do let's say I want to add my video so I want to show me let me go to video capture device. I'm going to keep the default or I can label it whatever I want. And here we go. I'm going to select the device. I'm going to add FaceTime video. Hey! And then go ahead and click OK. So again, you see here it has a little window and I can make it bigger. I can turn it here. So you see it actually scales the video. I can make me even bigger. If I want to be smaller. So see, you can set up your stream however you want. Hmm, maybe I might like this. I don't know. We'll see. So I'll just play around with this, get your scene the way you want it to look, and then you can literally just flip and flip. <laughs> That's what makes it so exciting. I can queue up one video, transition to another. And that's really how easy it is. So let me know if you have any questions, comment below. If you're interested in joining my team, um, message me on Facebook, lularoepearlbarrientos at gmail.com. All my shopping links are below. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Periscope, Instagram. Like me all on there. Give me a thumbs up. All right. Bye. <clears throat> Mommy, I don't know.